Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's uh, Thursday, October the 8th. Uh, we're in Toronto here and we've got a new partial lockdown. And unfortunately, it's too cold to bicycle. My bicycle's behind me here and the gym's closed. So, uh, but the sun is shining and uh, I have my Colombian coffee here. So nothing could be better. And I want to talk about HF radio, which is my favorite subject. Um, a couple of days ago, I was I was listening or actually reading an HF radio forum, and one manufacturer put a, a video on YouTube showing his radio. Um, it was operating about 90 kilometers away from the base station, and it was using Envis, and um, the uh, SSB voice was just at the threshold, so you could hardly make it out. And then he switched to digital voice. It was incredible. Um, although the digital voice has a sort of a computerized sound to it, it was actually perfect. You could make out every single word. So I thought, let's do an experiment. Let's compare SSB uh, with the amateur radio digital voice, free DV. And I'm going to use the same setup, the modem evaluation setup that I have in my HF ebook um, using Psychos. And we're going to test it out and see how it works. Now, to use free DV, if you're just receiving, you can use the program as it is. Uh, it's designed to go with a HF uh, transceiver, so you need two sound cards. You need a sound card on your computer, and you need a sound card uh, in the transceiver or an external one. So for the sound card, I'm going to use um, this little guy here. It's a USB external sound card. I use that when I, uh, with my Raspberry Pi SDR development. So um, let's look at, um, I'm going to look at my blog post here, uh, and it's called HF SSB versus Digital Voice. So if you go down here, uh, there's my Psychos model that I use for evaluation purposes. So let's bring it up here. So there's the model. So what happens is that in SSB, for instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read in an SSB waveform, which is going to be um, just a test waveform calling CQ. I'm going to read it in here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to bandpass filter it for, that, for an SSB transceiver. And I'm going to add random noise to that, and then I'm going to output it. Now, uh, Psychos needs structures versus WAV files, so you have to put the um, WAV file into the console editor and convert it to a structure, and then vice versa. Okay, so that's the um, that's the idea there. Uh, so if you go down here, this is from my my uh, HF ebook. Uh, I did this before and you can vary the sigma or the peak to peak noise value and I'm just taking this is kind of a an analog way of, of measuring a signal to noise ratio so you can use it visually. I've just measured the input signal level and peak to peak and I've taken the noise peak to peak. Um, and this is the readability. So you can see here around signal to noise ratio of nine, uh, the readability drops and around three. Um, you can hardly make the signal out. Let's listen to um, let's listen to this. Okay, so I've recorded this already. So let's look at um, signal to noise ratio. Let's say a perfect signal to noise ratio. Let's listen to this. We'll open this with Windows Media Player. CQ twenty meters. CQ twenty meters. CQ twenty. This is VE three PKC. VE three PKC. Victor Echo three. Peter, kilowatt Charlie calling CQ 20 meters and standing by. Okay, so that's a perfect signal. Let's look at when we get down to 9 dB signal to noise ratio. So here we're going to have some readability problems. CQ 20 meters, CQ 20 meters, CQ 20. This is VE3 PKC. VE3 PKC. So you can make it out, but hardly. There's a huge noise. And when we get down to 3 dB, we can hardly make out the signal at all. So let's, let's listen to that. So that's my threshold there. Um, around, let's say, uh, 3 to 9 dB, that signal collapses with SSB and you can't make it out. So here's my um, digital voice simulation. So what I'm going to do is... You have to set up um, this program here. There's there's FreeDV, and uh, what you have to do in the audio configuration is you have to set up for uh, transmit and uh, receive. So in the transmit direction, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take my test waveform CQDX CQDX. I'm going to feed that in to my laptop into the FreeDV transmit end. Uh, I'm going to use VB cable. 
it's uh, sort of a virtual cable, so it takes the output of the player and puts it right into the uh, computer. And then I get out the, um, the digital, um, the FDV equivalent of this WAV file. And I record that in Audacity. And then that WAV file, I feed into Psycoats, I add the noise, and then I output it at various signal to noise ratios. In the receive direction, I open these various signal to noise ratios and then I feed it into FDV and I listen to it. So um, the results I get are in the table here. This is a graph showing you, um, this is the input signal, this is the digital FDV signal, and this is the noise I've added to it, and that's the signal plus noise. That's the spectrum. And we'll, we'll look at this in a minute. We'll, we'll feed a signal into here and see it decoding. And these are the results. So I find that at a signal to noise ratio of minus one, I have perfect readability. And remember, we're listening to a kind of a computerized, it's a hollow sound, but every word is recognizable. So at minus one dB, perfect readability, but then it starts to collapse. At minus two dB, you get 10% of the words missing and the threshold has been passed. And then let's say at minus 2.5 dB, it's unreadable. We can listen to that. So let's do that. Okay, so what I've got here is I've loaded a file. Um, this is uh, n equals 0 0.1, so I've got no noise at all. So let's listen to a perfect signal. So I've got this thing running now on receive. CQ20 meters, CQ20 meters, CQ20. This is VE3TKC, VE3TKC, Victor. So that's a perfect signal. Now let's load in, um, let's close this, and we'll load in another file. Let's load in, uh, it's gone at 0 0.8. Let's load in uh, 0 0.6. I think 0 0.6 was, uh, yeah, perfect readability, should be. Let's play that. CQ20 meters, CQ20 meters, CQ20. This is VE3TKC, VE3TKC. Okay, so <laughs> that's perfect readability. Let me load in 0.7. I'm going to start to make errors now. So let's close that. And we'll load in the uh, 0.7. And we'll play that. And we're going to get about 10% of words missing. CQ20 meters, CQ20 meters, CQ20. This is VE3TKC, VE3TKC, Victor, Echo, Hurry, Peter, Colwalk, Charlie. So, uh, so there's a few words missing there. And finally, um, at 0.8, uh, this is a threshold, it's, it's pretty well gone there. So let's load in that. So there's 0 0.8. So let's run that. CQ20 meters, CQ20 meters, CQ20. This is VE3TKC, VE3TKC, Victor. Echo, three, here, Charlie. Hmm, that sounded pretty good. Let's try another one. Maybe I was too pessimistic there. Let's try 1.0. Okay, so that's a 1.0. So uh, on this computer, um, my threshold is down at 1.0, so it's around minus 3 dB. But anyways, in conclusion then, we can see that the voice, the SSB, uh, starts to degrade between 3 and 9 dB, whereas the uh, digital voice, uh, it's around minus 1 to minus 3 dB. 
So that's a, a considerable improvement.